saw the obstacles in the video right before we went to the starting line. They were intense. And if that's how they look like on the video with professionals, paano pa kami, di ba? It's race day and we made it to Bicol. We're here at Camp Tour for the North Face Outdoor Challenge Race and we are all so excited. Unfortunately, Graham couldn't make it because he is injured, but we did find a very cool replacement, Jules. Hey, I'm Jules. I'm the new guy. <laughs> and this is my first obstacle race. I've done trail running before and it was just a month ago. Going into the race, I was intimidated because I knew it rained. So I knew the mud was going to you know, get stuck in our feet. I, I felt like it was going to make us a lot slower. And we had a team, so obviously it's going to be more challenging because you have to you know, help each other out. The moments leading up to the race, I was in a mindset that I will not put too much pressure on myself. Nung palapit na yung race, talagang nervous na ako. Yung first rule na we need to have fun. Ang kalaban siguro talaga namin, mga sarili namin. Whatever I do, I want to do my best in it. So kung ano yung kaya kong gawin, to make it happen, I'll do it. The first thing we did was run a lot. I really had to catch up with my short legs. So feeling ko, one step for them, two steps for me. Kaya talagang pinush ko yung endurance na yan. I've never expected to see so much mud. A few steps into the trail, I got mud in my eye. So parang, mud in nature, why is so cruel? It's more of a mental risk. Kasi parang your mind telling your body to push through kahit medyo mahirap na or you don't know if kaya mo pa. Because I had the team with me, mas pinush ko talaga. I really wanted to prove that we can do it together. Rock Garden, I really liked it because that was the first one I really showed teamwork. If you'd fall through the rocks, you have to go back to the very beginning. Hardest for me was the rock garden talaga. Because some of the rocks are really far apart. We would go together and then if it's kind of wide apart, we would help each other out to get to the next rock. Next strategies na kami. The parts na may parang hurdles, like the giant walls. Like I would go ahead and then gagamitin na yung, yung like go for a stepping stone to go over. Pinaka mahirap sa akin is yung walls, since I have weak upper body strength. Dun tinulongan talaga nila ako sa Berlin Wall, like naging human ladder sila, to be honest. Supposed to flip one of these things for the fourth challenge, and our super strong John he flipped it himself and got cut. You think trail running, Indonesia team sport, but something like this, you need to know the strengths and weaknesses of your teammates to work in your advantage. It's actually a little bit challenging for me because. I'm used to just relying on myself and I couldn't do that today because I had a team. I had to be mindful of everybody else. So my mindset changed. It became more fun. I got to know the guys better. There was a swimming part and then I don't know how to swim. They said that it was 30 feet deep. I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Can I, is this okay? And then the kuya naman kept on saying, nah, you're fine, you're fine. And also my teammates were like, you can get through this. <laughs> Favorite yung Bambora. Kasi nag-swimming na. So, from putikan, from sawi, ito na. Mas na-refresh kami. Tapos, ang sarap lang lumangoy. Woo! Woo! Grabe! It's the game plan. I do it with a touch. Keep it up. Boa Constrictor was fun also because you were just swimming in mud. <laughs> 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 
Simi lang, simi lang. Pikit na kayo. Pag natapos mo isang challenge, you are looking forward for the next challenge. Tapos tatapusin mo naman hanggang matapos mo siyang lahat. Feeling ko naglalaro lang kami. Lalo na yung last part, we were crawling through the mud. Parang enjoy na enjoy ko siya, kahit medyo icky. Parang I'm never gonna experience that again. It was like a playground for grown-ups. <laughs> we got to be in the mud. We were like willing to just jump off of stuff and you know, just get dirty, jump in the water, slip and fall and just laugh it off. It was just a really good time. It was a sense of relief when we could see like the finish line. It was towards that last kilometer that we really ran for the, the end of the race because it's, it's, it's so close. I've never been in a competition where the end goal is, has a physical manifestation. Like you just have to cross it. You just have to push yourself a little bit more and you see the end. Thing that was going through my mind was thank you that my body can still do this. There's going to be one day that our bodies will not anymore be able to do what our minds tell it to do. We have just one lifetime for us. Keep on trying new things because you don't know what you will learn from it and it will keep you challenged. Trying something new every day will help you physically, mentally, and emotionally. Going out of your comfort zone is where growth happens. I had a lot of doubts whether or not I can finish it. It's really surprising to see how much you can push your body. And at the end of the day, it's always going to surprise you. This is a reminder that if you just say, you know what, I'm going to do this, and it's going to suck, and it's probably going to be more challenging than a regular thing that I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it anyway, and then just get through it and just start it and go through it and finish it. And that's the game plan.